Today is a bright and early morning, I think like what, 6.40 a.m. And I am here at the brand new Flow Chargers that they just installed at a Ford dealership here in Edmonton, Alberta. And as far as I know, this is the only second such charger available in Canada right now. And I'm in a very, very noisy area. We've got the refineries over here and it's just very noisy. So I hope you guys can hear me anyways, but I just wanted to come before I have to start work today just to do a video about this because it's such a very cool charger. And if this is the future of EV charging, we're in for a very good time. So this is the Flow Ultra charger, brand new. They've been working on this for a very long time. And as you guys can see, the design and everything is very, very different than what we're used to. So I'm currently charging. Don't mind this speed. I came here on a very cold battery. I came here with about 30 something percent. So it is what it is. Why we're not here to do a charging speed test because my car cannot even charge that fast to begin with. But just look at this beautiful touch screen very easy to use. I'm going to show you guys on the other one how to start a charge and it's very, very responsive. So right now here at this Ford dealership, they're charging $25 per hour to use this. So I've been here for a few minutes and I'm uh, paying two and a half. So if you have a very fast charging EV, like an EV9, an Ionic 5, whatever, come charge and you're going to be out of here in 15 minutes because the max speed of this side of the charger is 160 kilowatt. Now, the whole unit itself, not sure if this one is set up this way, but others are, is set up for 320. So if one car shows up and is able to take that charge, this charger will give them that. Just not sure about this one because I think it is just splitting power because here we have 160 max, and then we have here 160. So I believe the way that they set it up, it just splits the power. So like I say, this is the brand new touch screen that they did. So it's super easy. You just tap to begin. You see how fast it is, <laughs> right? So here's your pricing, whatever you need to do. You plug in first. After you plug in, another screen shows up and then you can choose to pay via your credit cards. So Apple Pay, and uh, Google Pay is also included, or you can just tap your flow card like I have. I still have my RFID, so this is what I use to pay. So here's your pricing. It shows up here. It's super easy, super intuitive, right? And then they have phone number for assistance, QR code to download the app, and then there's some sort of camera here. I'm not sure what that's for, but maybe you can video chat with the service team. That would be nice if that's the case, right? So here we go. We're still at about 54, which I know it's not fast, but my car is not fast. One thing that Flow is super, super excited about with their chargers is this handle design and the cable that allows you to pull the cable closer to your vehicle, which if you've ever charged an electric car, you know how important that is simply because we have charging ports pretty much anywhere. My um, Kia has it at the front, some have it on the side, some have it on the back. So this makes it much, much easier to just pull the whole cable, which is very heavy, right? We're talking about a high power charger here and plug in anyways. I also looked at their website and what they're saying is that the whole unit is very modular. So as you guys can see, you can open it up here, opens up, you have everything inside that you need and each component is modular. So if anything breaks, only one guy can come, replace it. They don't need a whole team and the charger is up and running again. So this is what we've always said, right? We need chargers that are reliable and work well. And something like this is going to be reliable simply because it's so easy to fix. Uh, as we know, for example, like Electrify Canada, every time you show up, there's always one or two chargers that are not working because it's just so hard to fix them. This one should solve that issue and any maintenance, any fixing is going to be much easier. So we're at Sherwood Ford. Um, if you're familiar with Edmonton, you know what this place is and where it's at. And uh, they also have a bunch of 
level two chargers here. So they have four of those and then the two high powered ones. They used to have that old flow um, charger and then just they replaced it with this. So here we go, Sherwood Ford. So shout out to Sherwood Ford for doing something awesome and uh, installing these brand new chargers because not many dealerships are willing to do that. So very, very well done Sherwood Ford. Another cool thing about these chargers that the handles can be changed to whatever connector um, the site owner wants it to be, right? So for now they have two CCS, but very easily that can be changed to a NAX. So the Tesla NACS, right? If they wanted to, so they could make one side CCS as it is now, and then the other side NAX, for example, right? So then Tesla owners or future cars that have the native NAX um, charger port are able then to charge, which is awesome because it's kind of future-proof, right? It makes sure that the cars in the future are gonna be able to charge on these chargers and the site owners are gonna be able to switch it up and, and provide what is currently needed. Okay, look guys, I'm impressed. Okay, if this is the future of charging and if this is what we're gonna have, sites like this with brand new beautiful chargers that work out of the box without any issues, I'm going to be a very happy EV owner in the future. Okay, so before we go, I just wanna show you guys how easy it is to actually start charging on this thing. So let's stop the charge, see what happens. Do you wanna stop charging? Oh, it says don't stop, stop. So we do stop and then it says, please unplug and then move your vehicle to free up this station. My total cost was $10.85 for 23.5 kilowatt hours. Okay, so let's unplug this thing and then put it back in here and it says thanks session completed then you just click done and there we go so pretty simple pretty easy so now this charger is ready to go if someone needs it okay so now let's see how we can start charging if you show up with these new chargers so everything is green so everything's ready so we tap to begin it says plug in first so that's what we're gonna do it's just, it's hard with one hand to do this. So I'm gonna do it with two. So give me a second. Here we go, connected. So now it says connecting to vehicle. Verifying vehicle. And then you choose your payment method. So by card or by flow. So I just did a tap on my flow card. So now it's performing pre-charge tests. And then, yeah, you have your Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, GPay, whatever other things you need. And let's see how long the handshake is. And there we go. And we've started pretty easy. So I unplugged and then plugged back in at 64. We'll see what the speed is going to be. It was 55 when I unplugged. Should be about the same. So maybe even more since the battery's warm. Ah, 56. So there you go, super easy. And even people who are traveling to Canada and don't have flow, just use your credit card. There's no discounts or anything else if you pay with flow. I just like RFID cards, makes life easier. That's why I use them. That's it for this video, quick look. I am going to come back here in the future with a much faster charging vehicle, see if we can max out that 160. Um, but until then, this is it. So what do i think well i think that flow is doing a wonderful job with these brand new chargers they should be very proud of what they did because it is an amazing system easy to use seems to be reliable so far and it charges cars at what it advertises which is always good and now in canada a lot of um, companies are thinking of using these chargers there's a supermarket chain in quebec and ontario that are going to start installing these so it's just a matter of time before we have a lot of these kind of chargers, these ones especially all around Canada, which is amazing. So good job, Flo. I really like what you're doing and we need more companies to start innovating and start putting more effort into getting chargers up to a level like this where 
you show up, you know they're working just like superchargers. So again, well done, wonderful little charger, and I'm very happy that I was uh, able to come here at 6.30 in the morning to make a video because it's, uh, it's something new and something cool. All right, guys, if you like the video, like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.